All right, so are you ready to dive into this whole TikTok drop shipping thing? I am. Because I know a lot of you out there listening are really excited about it. And trust me, after I've looked through all this research, I am too. Yeah. Uh, we found some pretty amazing success stories. Oh, yeah. We're talking about people making serious money in just weeks. Life-changing money. Life-changing money. Yeah. But yeah. there's a ton of noise out there too. So we're going to try to like clear through that and figure out what really matters. Yeah. And that's, you know, one of the things I think that's so fascinating about this is this whole idea of TikTok shop. Right. Where you can literally sell. Like right in the app. Right inside the app. It's crazy. Yeah. And people are already there. You know, they're not, you don't have to send them to a website or anything like that. They're right there. They're already there to buy. Yeah. They're already in a buying mood potentially. Right. Um, but the thing is, it's so competitive. Yeah. There are just so many people doing it, so you have to be smart. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and that's kind of where I wanted to start with you, right? Like, yeah. you, you've seen what works and what doesn't mm -hmm. based on what all these other entrepreneurs who are crushing it on TikTok are already doing. Yeah. So, like, what's the biggest mistake that you see people making when they're first starting out? The biggest mistake I see people making is they underestimate the power of attention. Mm. And this is something that, you know, we hear a lot about this attention economy, right? Mm -hmm. But on TikTok, it's not just some like, you know, buzzword. It really is everything. Right. And one of the sources that we were looking at, Sina Reze, she compares it to fitness influencers. Okay. Like you don't actually have to be the most ripped person on the planet. Interesting. It just need to be the most engaging. Right. Like, and it's all about grabbing those eyeballs and keeping them. Busy. It's like less about being an expert and more about being entertaining. In a way, yeah. I mean, of course, like knowing your stuff about the products you're selling, it helps. Yeah, of course. But content creation on TikTok. It is skill in itself. It really is a skill. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you have to learn how to do. And there are people who are really, really good at it. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're experts in whatever field. Like the real estate agents going viral on TikTok? Exactly. Are they really the best negotiators? Maybe not. Maybe not. But they're good on TikTok. But they're definitely the best at getting you to watch their videos. That's so true. Right. I, I think that's a great point. And I, and I think that's a great analogy, too, because it's like you can have the best product in the world. Right. But if nobody sees it. Nobody's going to buy it. You're not going to sell anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So lesson number one. For all you aspiring TikTok dropshippers out there, mm -hmm. master the art of capturing attention. Okay. So attention, that's key. That's step one. That's step one. But let's talk about like the payoff here. Okay. Yeah. I was blown away by some of the success stories. Oh, yeah, me too. What we found in this research. Yeah. Like we found this 19-year-old kid who made $100,000 profit. Wow. In two weeks. In two weeks. Through TikTok shop. It's crazy. It's insane. It's amazing. Wow. It is remarkable. And Michael Bernstein, he's one of the sources that we looked at, right? he actually interviewed this young entrepreneur and just hearing this kid's story is really a testament to what's possible on this platform. Absolutely. And it's not just a one-off fluke either. No. Sina Rezai, she actually showed an example of another person making almost $50,000 in just seven days. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Okay, I'm officially seeing dollar signs right now. Yeah. But but I'm guessing it's not all, you know, roses and sunshine, right? Right. Like, what are some of the things that could go wrong? What are the pitfalls? Yeah, you got to watch out for account bans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a real concern. Right. TikTok has some pretty strict policies, and if you violate them, you could lose your entire business overnight. Wow. It can happen that quickly. Jeez. And in fact, Michael Bernstein's interviewee even talked about how he got banned at one point and had to start all over again. So it's just a reminder that you need to play by the rules. Right. Stay informed because those policies, they can change. That's a good point. Yeah. So how do you avoid those kinds of mistakes? Is there like a secret sauce? Well, I think one of the most important things is mentorship. Mm -hmm. You know, having someone who's been there, done that, can save you a lot of headaches. Right. Can help you avoid some of those costly mistakes. And, you know, I'm reminded of Michael Bernstein's guest who he had on his show. And the guy was talking about how he felt like the dumbest person in the room. When he first. When he first joined this mentorship program. But he ended up being successful. He did. Because of that guidance. Yeah. And, you know, that actually reminds me of a really great resource for anyone who's just getting started in online business. Okay. What is it? Have you heard of Brian Garvin's Affiliate Guide? Oh, yeah. I think I've seen that. Yeah. It's really great. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Oh. But and it's packed with really practical advice and strategies for anyone who's looking to build a successful 
successful online presence. And I'm guessing that's right up our listeners' alley. It is, for sure. Where can they get that? It's actually a free download. You just have to go to briangarvin.com. Oh. That's Brian with an I. Look at I. And you can submit your name and email, and you'll find a link to the guide in his YouTube bio. Fantastic. Okay. Definitely check oh. that out if you're listening. Yeah. It's a must-have. All right. So we've established that mentorship is invaluable, but let's get down to, like, the nuts and bolts okay. of TikTok shop. Right. Like, how does it actually work? Mm. Well, it's kind of a multifaceted platform and it offers like a variety of ways to connect with customers and sell products. So sure. like one way is through live shopping, which is where you basically showcase products in real time. OK. And you interact directly with your audience. So you're like live. Live. Yeah. OK. And it creates this kind of sense of urgency and can lead to a lot of impulse buys. So it's kind of like QVC, but like. It is. Yeah, yeah exactly. Talk. Exactly. Yeah. So that's one way. Okay. Another way is shoppable videos. Oh, yeah. I've seen those. Yeah. So these are videos where you can tag products. Directly in your video. Directly in your TikTok videos. Smart. And it makes the whole buying process so seamless for the viewer yeah. because they see something, they like, they click the tag and boom, they're taken straight to the checkout page. Yeah. It like completely removes any friction from buying. Exactly. You don't have to go searching for it. No. Love that. And then there's also like the dedicated shop page. Right. On your profile. That's right. Yeah. You can have like a mini storefront yeah. where people can go and browse all of your products in one place. That's awesome. And then there's also the broader shopping tab within the app itself. Oh, okay. And this is where TikTok curates a selection of products. From different sellers. From different sellers, right? So it's a whole ecosystem. It really is. Built yeah. around shopping. It's a whole ecosystem built around shopping. Wow. Like it. Yeah. And the beauty of it is you can choose the strategies that work best for your brand and your goals. So we've got these different ways to sell, but what about the products themselves? Okay. Yeah. Like what should we be thinking about when choosing products to sell on TikTok shop? So when it comes to choosing the right products, I think one thing that I've really noticed in the research is it's all about finding items that have that wow factor. Wow factor. Yeah. Okay. I like that. What do you mean? Yeah. So Paul J. Lipsky, who was one of the experts that we were looking at, he pointed to these unique cell phone holders okay. as potential winners. Interesting. One of them was designed to attach to your neck so you could film like POV shots. And another one was like built into a toilet paper holder. OK, so practical. Practical, but totally unexpected. But unexpected. So it's like finding that balance between something that's actually useful. Yeah. But also attention grabbing. Exactly. Got it. You want people to stop scrolling and be like, I need that. Right. And remember, TikTok's audience is like, it skews younger. So you got to think about products that appeal to their interests and their lifestyle. That's a great point. Okay, so wow factor. That's number one. What else? Pricing is super important, too. Okay. Mario from AutoDS, he recommends sticking to products that are in the 2030 range. Okay. He says that's kind of the sweet spot. Yeah. That allows for a decent profit margin, but it's still affordable enough for those impulse purchases. Makes sense. Yeah. Anything else product-wise? Fast shipping is non-negotiable. Oh, yeah, for sure. TikTok shop, they've got some pretty strict delivery expectations, so you really need to find suppliers who can get those orders out quickly. Right. Ideally, like, within two, three business days. Yeah, because I imagine if you have slow shipping... That's going to lead to some bad reviews. Oh, yeah, for sure. Potentially, like, account issues. Yeah, absolutely. Got to keep TikTok happy. Remember, TikTok, it's all about instant gratification. Yeah. People expect to get their stuff fast. Of course. And if they don't, they're going to let you know about it. For sure. Okay, <laughs> so fast shipping noted. Yeah, that's a must. But what if I'm, like, not comfortable being on camera? Okay. Can you even do TikTok drop shipping without being, like, a TikTok star? That's a great question, and the answer is yes, you don't necessarily have to be in front of the camera. Okay, good. Mario from AutoDS, he had some really good advice about repurposing content. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he suggested like stitching or duetting okay. existing yes. videos that feature products that you want to sell. So basically like using content that's already out there. Exactly, yeah. You're tapping into an existing audience right. and you're taking advantage of the fact that the algorithm likes to show content that's already performing well. Right, of course. But you want to make sure that you add your own spin to it. Right, you don't want to just yeah, like... Yeah, you can't just copy it off completely. You got to make it yeah. unique. You got to make it engaging. So add your own commentary. Maybe yeah. some insights. Yeah. Your own personality. Exactly. You want to make it your own and provide value to your viewers, even if you're not the one who originally created the content. 
I, that, okay, so repurposing content. That's a great strategy. Yeah. For those of us who are not ready for our close up. Exactly. But let's be honest, drop shipping can be kind of a pain. Oh, yeah. In the butt sometimes. It can be a lot to manage. You've got orders to manage, you've got products to import, you've got shipping to track. Like, yeah. It's a lot to juggle. Especially as your business grows. Right. It can get very overwhelming. Yeah, so what do we do? That's where automation comes in. Oh, the magic of automation. Yeah. Tell me everything. So Mario from AutoDS, he highlighted a tool called AutoDS. Okay. And basically, it can automate a lot of those tedious tasks. Also. Like managing orders, importing products, even handling fulfillment. Wow. It integrates with TikTok Shop and Shopify. Okay. So you can basically manage everything from one central hub. That sounds like a lifesaver. It is, yeah, especially if you're dealing with a lot of orders. Right. It frees up your time so you can focus on the more strategic stuff, like finding winning products, creating great content. That's what you want to be doing. Exactly. Okay, so we talked about finding those wow products. Yeah. Using Amazon as a supplier a lot. Yeah. But what about those branded boxes? Yeah. Like if somebody orders something from my TikTok shop. Right. But it comes in an Amazon box, are they going to be like, what's going on here? So Brian Guerra actually addressed this directly. Okay. He said it's generally not an issue, especially if the product itself isn't like branded as being from Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a relief because I was thinking about that. Yeah, it's a common concern. Yeah. But most customers, they're more focused on the product itself and the speed of delivery. As long as they get what they ordered. Exactly. In good condition. Right. They're not going to be like, wait a minute, what? They're probably not going to overthink the packaging too much. Oh, good. But if you're really worried about it, you can always use like a third-party fulfillment service. Okay. And they'll handle all the packaging and shipping for you. And they'll often use plain or unbranded boxes. Smart. Okay, cool. So are there any other like potential challenges Yeah. we should be aware of when we're drop shipping from Amazon to TikTok shop? Yes. Actually, one of the things that can be tricky is dealing with those Amazon TBA tracking numbers. Oh, yeah. I've heard of those. Yeah. TikTok shop often flags them as being invalid. Really? Which can cause delays and just a lot of frustration. Mm, that sounds like a headache. It can be, but thankfully there's a workaround. Okay, tell me. So Brian Guerra actually introduced us to this tool called Track Taco. Track Taco? Yeah. What is that? It allows you to generate legitimate tracking numbers oh. for your Amazon orders, and that ensures that there's a smooth integration with TikTok Shop. So Track Taco is a must-have. Yeah, if you're drop shipping from Amazon, Got it. it can be a real game changer. Okay, cool. So we've covered a lot here. Yeah. Finding those wow factor products. Yes. Importance of fast shipping. Absolutely. Leveraging yeah. existing content. Right. And even automating our workflow. It's a lot. It is a lot. What other like nuggets of wisdom can you share? Well, I think the biggest thing is just to remember that success takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes effort. It takes a willingness to learn and adapt. Of course. You know, don't be afraid to experiment, yeah. track your results, make adjustments along the way. And I think something that we've talked about that's really, really important is don't underestimate the value of seeking guidance right. from people who've already achieved the success that you're looking for. And speaking of guidance, I know you've mentioned Brian Garvin's affiliate guide a couple of times. I have. For our listeners who might have missed it, what is it? Okay, so it's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. And it's basically a comprehensive guide that covers a wide range of topics related to building a successful online business. Okay, so it goes beyond just TikTok strategies. It does, yes. Cool. It covers a wide range of topics from finding your niche to building a website to driving traffic and generating sales. Wow, that sounds pretty valuable. It is. How do people get it? So it's actually a free download. You just have to go to BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. With an I. And you'll find a link to download the guide for free in his YouTube bio. Awesome. You'll be prompted to enter your name and email, and then they'll send you a verification link, and you'll be able to access the guide. Okay, fantastic. So definitely check that out if you're listening. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we've talked about product selection. We've talked about automation. We've talked about some resources. Mm -hmm. What's next? Let's talk about one of the most powerful tools in the TikTok arsenal, live streaming. Right, live streaming on TikTok shop. Yeah. I've heard it can be like a total game changer. It can. But I'm also like a little intimidated by it. Yeah, I get that. Is it really worth the effort? It really can be. Yeah. Yeah, both Michael Bernstein and Mario from AutoDS, they really emphasize the potential of live streams okay. 
to create that sense of urgency right. and drive those impulse purchases. Mm -hmm. It's like having your own personal shopping channel. Right. But it's got that added engagement and interactivity of TikTok. So it's not just about like showing off the product. No. It's about really connecting. Yeah. With your audience. It's about connection. It's real time. In real time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So think of it as like a combination of entertainment and salesmanship. Okay. You need to be engaging. You need to be informative. Yeah. And you need to be able to answer questions. On the spot. On the fly. Yeah. Yeah. I can see how that would be kind of scary. Yeah. Especially if you're not like naturally comfortable in front of a camera being on camera yeah yeah it's definitely a skill yeah it takes practice but the rewards can be huge right remember that story about the person who was making serious bank by spending eight hours a day on live streams i do yeah eight hours a day that's dedication that's commitment that is commitment yeah what if you don't have eight hours a day though yeah i mean mm. you don't have to go that hard okay even shorter bursts of live streaming can be effective the key is consistency okay and finding a format that works for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you do like a daily product showcase okay. or a weekly Q&A session where you answer questions about your products. So there's flexibility in how you approach it. Absolutely. The beauty of TikTok is that there's no one size fits all approach. I love that. So you can experiment, you can find what resonates with your audience. And, you know, live streaming isn't just for selling products either. Right. It's also a great way to build your brand. Right. Connect with your follower. On a deeper level. On a deeper level, yeah. So even if you're not, like, doing a hard sell every time you go live, Maybe. it's still a valuable part of your overall strategy. Exactly. It's about building relationships, wow. establishing trust. Mm -hmm. creating a community. Right. And the more engaged your followers are, the more likely they are to buy from you. When you do promote a product. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. So we've covered a lot of ground in this deep dive. We have. We talked about the power of attention, uh, the importance of product selection, you yeah. know, benefits of automation, mm -hmm. even the potential of live streaming. It's a lot. It's a lot to process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you think our listeners should keep in mind? Yeah, I would just say remember that success takes time. It yeah. takes effort. Of course. And it takes a willingness to learn and adapt. Right. Don't be afraid to experiment. Track your results and make adjustments along the way. And don't forget about that guidance. Yes. And speaking of guidance. Brian Garvin's Affiliate Guide. Yes. One more time for the people in the back. Tell us about it again. So it's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. And it's a comprehensive guide that covers all sorts of topics related to building a successful online business. Okay. Um, it's packed with actionable advice strategies, resources mm. that can help you navigate the world of online marketing, whether you're doing TikTok drop shipping, mm. affiliate marketing, any other online venture, really. So it's even helpful if you're not like specifically focused on TikTok. Exactly. The principles and strategies are applicable to any online business model. Amazing. And it's free. It is. So how do they get it? You just go to BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. Brian with an I. Always got to remember that. You got it. Oh. And look for the link in his YouTube bio. Perfect. You'll be prompted to enter your name and email. Okay. And then you'll get a verification link to access the guide. All right. So final question. Okay. What's the one piece of advice you would give to somebody who's just starting out? Don't be afraid to jump in and get started. Yeah. You know, the beauty of TikTok is it's a relatively low barrier to entry platform. Right. You don't need a fancy studio or expensive equipment. Mm -hmm. Just start creating content, experiment, and see what works. I love that. Just dive in and start creating. Exactly. And most importantly, have fun. Yes. The more you enjoy it, mm -hmm. the more authentic your content will be. Right. And the more likely you are to connect with your audience and find that success. Love it. Great advice. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It's been my pleasure. Into the world of TikTok dropshipping, it's been an eye-opening experience. Me too. All right, well, that's it for this episode of The Deep Dive. Thanks for listening.